Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I, I would like for you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to the subscription button so that you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. And for those of you that have been hanging tough with me all this time, thank you so much for your support and thank you for your comments and your tips and all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. And I want you to know that I am trying the things that you guys have suggested. So I just want to get into how I did my wash and go this next time. And if you want to see what I did and how I achieved this, I'm only halfway through. Hang in there with me and I'll be right back and we'll talk about that. If you've been following my channel, uh, then you know that for the last few uh, times I've been trying to do a wash and go for my hair. I don't know what hair type I have. It's a mixed texture. It's somewhat straight on top and it's very, very thick in the back and medium on the sides and it's just a mixed texture. But anyway, this time I tried to use a method called the uh, Dickey method, Anthony Dickey method, and he suggests that you saturate your hair, co-wash it, saturate it um, with conditioner, uh, put gel on it, leave-in conditioner, put gel on it, and give it a shake. Okay, so I've done that, and I'm telling you, every time, this is like my second time using his method. As you can see, my hair is about probably 50% dry. Uh, on top very wet in the back still and uh, it will take hours and hours and hours for it to dry completely I don't like going to bed with a wet head so um, I took a paper towel and just kind of scrunched my hair and it is shrinking so Um, but I do want to tell you what I use. This time when I got in the shower and everything was done in the shower, um, I decided to use the uh, Shea Moisture Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, you guys. I always do that. By Shea Moisture uh, for my conditioner. And I used my uh, gel custard solution that I made if you want to see how I made it or, or uh, the ingredients that I put in here, then uh, I can leave the link in the, the description box below. And also, the last time I saw you guys, I told you I had picked up a hair dryer. And this is my diffuser that I have on here that I'm about to use. But what I did was I uh, rent, gave my hair a good rinse. I had already co-washed it. Um, yesterday or day before yesterday and uh, so yesterday it was getting a little bit dry and I tied it up and decided to give it a good rinse this morning and put in I used this particular conditioner and my gel and this is the result of that so I'm gonna see if I can turn around so that you can see the back and you'll see it's a different texture So, I'm going to use this diffuser, and um, hopefully it will not make my hair bushy. The last time I used it, it caused my roots to frizz up. And I have what's a, a feature on here that's called the Cool Shot. And it allows you to use the air, uh, but it's, it's cool. It's just, you know, room temperature air without using the heating element on it. Um, that's what I did last time as well. So I'm going to see if I can uh, get that done without my hair bushing up.
Doesn't feel any different to me. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I can't really tell if the texture has changed. It looks like it's bushing up a little bit on this side. But anyhow, we'll see how it turns out. Um, it still feels wet to me. I don't want to put heat on my hair. I haven't put heat on my hair in several years. So I really got this just because of the, the cold blast that I could get from this particular um, um, hair dryer. So we'll see how it turns out. And... Um, I'll come back and let you guys take a look at it a little bit later on after it's completely dry. or And if it's not completely dry, by the time I get ready to go to bed, then I'll take a look at it tonight. But let's just take another look all the way around and see if you see any difference. Does it look frizzy to you? Let me know what your thoughts are. And um, also, in the comment section below, let me know if you've used the Anthony uh, Dickey method or not. And uh, this is really modified. I didn't do everything exactly the way he said, but it's kind of modified. So anyhow, leave your uh, comments below, and I'll see you next time. Keep it natural. <laughs>